it's your girl Jay, and I'm here with another Wantable unboxing. This is Wantable unbox two, um, and I'm excited to crack this bad boy open. It feels, feel, well, it feels, it sounds like it's filled with loveliness. All right, let's do this. Wantable subscription box service where you get five fashions picked for you based off the styling profile that you fill out online, and it's in the other way as often as you like, and hopefully everything inside is lovely and you get a good discount for buying all five pieces so let's see <coughs> from madeline my stylist hey jasmine i had so much fun styling you today i've included some great pieces that are perfect for mixing and matching with your current wardrobe to create a chic polished look take the next five days to try on and decide what you love all right Got some goodies in here. Um, merchandise total is $344. Keep all discount of 20% off is $68.80. My styling fee of $20 will come off. And if everything in this box I love, I'd only pay $255.24. So uh, wish me luck. Okay, the first thing out of the box is this denim dip dye long sleeve tunic. The dip dye cow neck features an asymmetrical hem. Perfect to play to pair. Uh, perfect to pair back with leggings and a vest. Perfect to pair back with leggings and a vest. Okay, leggings wearing. Um, vest maybe not so much. I don't. I don't do vests. Uh, I don't own a vest, but maybe for my next box. Um, this is really soft. I have to give it to them. I think they might have checked out a couple of my previous videos because I am a sucker. For soft textiles like I love it um, I'm not too big a fan of the asymmetrical hem thing that's going on it meets in the back and the seam or this like fabric in the seam is exposed like uh, maybe who well no I guess not I don't know they just kind of like overlapped the fabric with when they did the sewing instead of like Butting them up together and then unfolding to where it's like a perfect fold. I, I don't think I can explain that as well as I should, but that kind of annoys me, but it's behind me, so I'll never see it. Um, again, this is really soft. Um, but I I don't know. I'm torn on the fence about it. This thing looks pretty huge, and yes, it's a tunic, but I'm already so short that there is no there aren't really any tunics that look like tunics on me. This just looks like a dress. <clears throat> Kind of. It kind of looks like a dress. Okay, right, I'm on the fence about this. I do enjoy the colors. I think I have... I think I can wear these with like black um, suede booties, which I do own. Um, yeah, totally on the fence. Alright, so let me know what you think of this and I'll be back with my next one. Yikes. Okay, I'm back and boy has my demeanor changed. Um, I am in two pieces from this Wantable box. The first one is the Skinny Starry Eyed 31 Versatile Skinny Fit from Kinsey in True Blue Wash featuring Cloud9 Super Soft Denim. These jeans are 88 bucks. Let, can we talk about these for a minute? Um, the size on them, it's on the back. I've never actually been able to get into this size. Well, not in like a long time, but yeah. I'm just like, okay. I'll, let's work with this. Let's see what we can do. Got them up, no problem. They fit like a dream. They are not uncomfortable. Like, I can sit and, okay, a mild urge to like shimmy back into them, but that's okay. I love these jeans. The color is perfect. They are just a wee bit long, but this is also like boot season. So, I can wear these with boots. I love them. I absolutely love these jeans. Thank you guys so much. Let me know your thoughts on these. Wow, wow. Um, and then this other thing that I'm wearing, it's the Zoa Dolman Sleeve Crew Neck Top. This boat neck dolman sleeve is drapey and comfortable, perfect to pair back with denim and a scarf. I really love this top. It is super soft. The detailing is divine. I love these buttons. Like, I love how there's buttons on the side. Like, it's super drapey. I almost feel it might be a little too big. Like, I don't really understand Dolbins all that well, <laughs> but um, it feels so soft. 
and it's just so comfy that I could wear this to work, after work, at home with a glass of wine and Olivia Pope. Like, this is a top that I could live in and still looks good enough to actually go out places. So, I do think it's just a little too big, just like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit too big. That can easily be fixed, but I love it as is. So, yeah. All right. So I'm probably going to keep these jeans on because the rest of the things in the box are tops. So, uh, here we Okay, I'm back with my last two pieces for my one tool box. This one is the Jack Zest jacket. They might have like made fun of me about my plackets from my last video. <laughs> for the days you just can't decide between a blazer and a jacket, don't. This jacket features a lightweight sweater material throughout and con I'm sorry, contrasting black sleeves. What? Um, okay. Yeah, contrasting black sleeves. Wear it coated where it was coated skinnies and a white tank. All right, so the coated skinnies is because of like this like pleather piece that's like up here. That's cool. Um, I don't own coated skinnies. I don't think I look good in those. Um, this jacket is, yeah, this jacket is 70 bucks. Um, sleeves are a little tight. This could also be because I'm wearing a long sleeve underneath and they said definitely wear this with a tank top. But because this is such like a loose free-forming material, I'm having such a terribly hard time with the collar making it look good and not feel weird. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this. Like it's a nice idea, but mm, I don't know. Maybe do I need to stretch it in? I don't know. Uh, I do like that there are pockets. I love my pockets. Um, it's not really looking too good with a tunic. I'll try it. I'll just, come back with this on and just like a white tank. Um, so the last thing in the box is this KLD long sleeve v-neck tunic in ivory. It's your new favorite long sleeve tee, has arrived, super soft jersey tunic with a high low hem. Madeline, I feel that you might have just like gone through like the massive wardrobe options <laughs> in the little offices and you just like touched everything until you found something that felt good. All five items in this box are like smooth, smooth, not abrasive, not itchy fabric and materials. It really shows that you listened to me and you care about what I'm saying. Like I am a sucker for a good feeling fabric. So this tunic fits just like a tunic, like I think a tunic would. I'm pretty sure you can see straight through this. Um, Sorry, in advance, this might require a prerequisite cami underneath, but that's okay. This is a tunic length that I think of when I think tunics, where it's still a little like high up here, but it's still like a little down there, and it's a little down there. In comparison to that first like dye weird looking thing, like literally the picture of this thing looks weird. I hope I'm getting this. <laughs> the picture of this guy looks really weird. Um, feels good, the dip dye cow neck thing, but it is like the length of a dress. It, it's quite long. Feels good, but it's quite long. But this, if this top were in this length, I'd be a little more inclined. So, uh, yeah, so this is like all five of the items. I'll be back with um, a white tank on to try out that jacket again. So I'm back with a part two of the jacket from Jack Zest. Um, the same people who made the black tank that I kept from my last video with the yoke, the lace yoke thing going on. Okay, now that I'm wearing the required <laughs> white tank, not the coated skinnies though, I'm more inclined to like this jacket. Still having some things going on with the collar, like I don't feel that this looks good. I've never really been a fan of collars that did this. Um, feels a lot better in the sleeve area now. Um, I think there might have been some things that need to be thought through a little bit more. See, it was like that sweater material, it is starting to, to lose fibers and they are all going straight to the sleeves of the jacket. So I can imagine in a couple washes or so, um, yeah, this would be just like a linty mess. So maybe a little less inclined because of that, even though I do love the idea of this thing back here. 
this pleather piece in the pockets. So again, in the box right now, we have the skinny starry eyed 31 jeans, which I have not taken off, probably will not. Um, the denim dip dyed long sleeve tunic, which is like a dress, but it feels so good. Um, thing about it, on the fence about this dress thing that we have going on here. The next piece was a Zola Dolman crew neck top, which I am head over heels madly in love for. It's a little big, but I love it just the same. Then this Jack Zest jacket, which I'm a little less inclined to keep. And the tunic in ivory, which just feels so good, so soft. It's a V-neck. I didn't really, it didn't really look too much like a V-neck on me. That might also have been the way I adjusted it, but anywho. Alright, so those are the five pieces. If I were to keep all five, it would only be two fifty-five twenty. Think about it. I am thinking about it. Alright, let me know your thoughts. Should I keep any of these? Should, should some of these I definitely get rid of? Like these jeans, they need to go. Let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe for more updates, and I will see you with the next unboxing. Bye!